Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASN Academy. Let's continue with our topic permutation and combination. Now in today's video we will be discussing about all the properties of factorial permutation and combination. Now if you haven't watched the previous video of this lecture series then I would recommend that you go back and watch those videos first and come back for this video for a clearer understanding. For this video too I have also provided the complete documentation of the topics covered so after watching the video you can go check that out too. Our first topic of discussion is factorial. Now before diving into its properties let's do a quick recap of what is a factorial. So factorial is basically the product of all the positive integers from the number to the digit 1. So if you are given 3 factorial it is equivalent to 3 into 2 into 1. You may recall from the first video that we take the factorial of 0 as 1 and factorial of 1 also as 1. So let's discuss the properties of factorial. Now our first property for factorial is that factorial of a number is always greater than and equal to 1. So factorial of a number can neither be 0 nor negative. Let's move on to the second property. Now the second property of factorial is that factorial of a number is always a whole number. So factorial of a number can neither be negative nor a fraction because you may see that n factorial is a product of all the positive integers from n to the number 1 and there is neither fractional part nor a decimal part between these product of numbers so the factorial of a number is always a whole number. Let's move on to the third and last property of factorial which is n factorial by r factorial is equivalent to n into n minus 1 up to r plus 1. You will understand this last property with an example. Suppose in the place of n we were given 7 and in the place of r we were given 3. So we have to calculate 7 factorial upon 3 factorial. So according to this property we can write the 7 factorial upon 3 factorial is equivalent to 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 because in place of r we have 3 so we will move up to r plus 1 that is equivalent to 4. That was all about factorial and its properties and I hope that you understood everything. Now let's move on to our second topic that is permutation. Let's do a quick recap of permutation as well. So as you can see that permutation is denoted by npr where n is the total number of values and r is the total number of objects that we have to arrange. So and npr is written as n factorial upon n minus r factorial. Then with the basic revision let's begin with our topic properties of permutation. So our first property is that n p n is equivalent to n factorial. You can check this property by putting it in the formula of npr. So in place of r I will put n so that becomes n factorial by n minus n factorial which is equal to n factorial upon 0 factorial. This is of the form of n factorial by r factorial and we have just learned that n factorial by r factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 and up to r plus 1 and r in this case is 0 so we will move up to 1 and we all know that this is nothing but n factorial. Let's move ahead to the second property of permutation which is n p 0 is equal to 1. Now you can check this property too by putting it in the formula of npr and after putting it in the formula we get n factorial upon n minus 0 factorial which is equivalent to n factorial upon n factorial and after cancelling both the n factorial we will get the answer as 1. So np0 is indeed equal to 1. Let's check the third property of permutation which says that np1 is equivalent to n. Now you know the drill we have to put it in the formula of npr 
and after putting it we get the answer as n factorial upon n minus 1 factorial this 2 is of the form of n factorial by r factorial and we know that the value of n factorial by r factorial is the product of all the numbers starting from n up to r plus 1 now r plus 1 in this case is itself equal to n so our final answer is only n so np1 is equal to n let's check the fourth property so the fourth property says that np n minus 1 is equal to n factorial now we can check this by putting it in the formula of npr so upon putting it we get the value as n factorial upon n minus n minus 1 factorial which is equivalent to n factorial upon 1 factorial which is equal to n factorial let's move on to its fifth property which says that npr is equivalent to n times n minus 1 pr minus 1 now we can prove this property too by putting it in the formula of npr so let us first put this value in the formula of npr so we will get n minus 1 factorial upon n minus 1 minus r plus 1 factorial which is equal to n minus 1 factorial upon n minus r factorial now we also have a n on this side so we'll multiply it and we'll get the value as n factorial upon n minus r factorial which is equivalent to n we are now the sixth property is very similar to that of the fifth property which says that n minus 1 p r plus r times n minus 1 p r minus 1 is equivalent to n p r let's check the correctness of this property too so we'll get n minus 1 factorial upon n minus r minus 1 factorial plus r times n minus 1 factorial upon minus r factorial if we take n minus 1 factorial upon n minus r minus 1 factorial in common we'll get the value as 1 plus r upon n minus r upon simplification we'll get the value as n minus r plus r by n minus r which is equal to n by n minus r so when you multiply this value with this value we'll get the final answer as n factorial upon n minus r factorial which is equal to n pr so the last and final property of permutation is that n pr upon n pr minus 1 is equal to n minus r plus 1 this is the most important property of permutation because i have seen in many questions that the final answer is of the form of npr by npr minus 1 and if you know this formula then you can simply write the answer as n minus r plus 1 instead of wasting time in calculating this value these were the most important properties of permutation and it will help you to save a lot of time in your exam so you must remember these all seven properties the proofs of all these properties are not at all important but from my personal experience i would recommend you to remember all the proofs because if you remember the proof of the property then you will never forget the property let's move ahead with the properties of combination but before that let's do a quick recap of what is combination so combination is represented by ncr and we know that n is the total number of objects and r is the number of objects that we have to select and we know that the formula of ncr is equal to n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial done with the short recap let's move ahead with its properties so the first property of combination says that nc0 is equivalent to ncn which is finally equivalent to 1 so we can check this by putting it in the formula of ncr which is for the first case we'll get the value as n factorial upon 0 factorial by n minus 0 factorial which is equal to n factorial by n factorial upon simplifying which turns out to be 1 now for the second case we'll get the value as n factorial 
upon n factorial minus n minus n factorial which is again equivalent to n factorial by n factorial which is equal to 1. Let's check the second property. So it says that nc1 is equal to n. Let's check its proof. So we can say that nc1 is equal to n factorial upon 1 factorial minus n minus 1 factorial n factorial upon n minus 1 factorial is equal to n and n upon 1 factorial is equal to n so nc1 is equal to n the remaining properties of combinations are very important so i would like you to pay your full attention for the rest of the properties so the third property says that ncr is equal to n c n minus r we can again prove this by putting it in the formula of ncr so let's check for this part first so ncn minus r is equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial upon n minus n minus r factorial which is equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial which is equivalent to n c r let's check the fourth property of combination now the fourth property is basically a statement which states that if n c r is equal to n c p then either r is equal to p or r plus p is equal to n we can check the correctness of the statement by simply proving it so if n c r is equal to n c p we can say that n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial is equal to n factorial upon p factorial into n minus p factorial the numerator of both lhs and rhs is same so we have to check only for the denominator so r factorial can either be equal to p factorial or n minus p factorial so if r factorial is equal to p factorial i can say that r is equal to p or if r factorial is equal to n minus p factorial i can say that r factorial is equal to n minus p factorial now removing the factorials from both the sides i can say that r is equal to n minus p or n is equal to p plus r the first case we have taken r factorial and now we will take n minus r factorial and you will see that we will get the exact same result so n minus r factorial can either be equal to p factorial or n minus p factorial so if n minus r factorial is equal to p factorial we will get that n minus r factorial is equal to p factorial and removing factorial from both the sides we will get n minus r is equal to p and n is equal to r plus p and for the second case we will get that n minus r factorial is equal to n minus p factorial and we will finally get that n minus r is equal to n minus p and i can say that r is equal to p let's check the fifth property of combination which is ncr is equal to npr by r factorial now we can prove this property too so upon expanding we'll get that n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial is equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial moving on to the sixth property of combination and its most important property which states that ncr minus 1 plus ncr is equal to n plus 1 cr i have seen many questions based solely on this property only so you must remember this property now let's move on to its seventh and last property which says that ncr is equivalent to n by r into n minus 1 c r minus 1 you can simply prove this property by taking this r in the lhs so it becomes n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial into r which is equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r 
minus 1 factorial which is equivalent to the RHS of the statement which is n into n minus 1 c r minus 1. This was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the properties of factorial, permutation and combination and if you have any doubt that you can post it down in the comment section or you can go to the channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and you can share your doubt with us and we will surely solve it as soon as possible. And don't forget to check the description box of this video where I've provided the complete documentation of the topics covered in this video. And if you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel Asin Academy.